So we've just explained what page fragments are. Let's talk about how we can create them. We have the option to use the fragments editor. The great thing is the page fragments editor is built right into the Liferay DXP UI. We don't need to go outside. We don't need another application to be able to build them. The fragments editor has everything that we need to develop page fragments. And the fragment editor is found in the design section of the site administration panel. Once you create a collection, you can add a fragment to the collection via the fragments editor. So as you can see here on the right, We've talked about how fragments are made up of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we can see in our graphic, the left squares and the upper right are representing those. And you can see in the bottom right, we have a real-time preview of what our fragment is looking like, and we can demo it in a few different views. We also have the fragments generator. We will install this using npm, that's npm install g generator life rate fragments. You can use the fragments generator to create collections and fragment projects using the following process. You can run yo library fragments, create collections by running npm run add collection, and create fragments inside of the collection with npm run add fragment. Finally, when we want to add them to the platform, we can do that with npm run import. So we've taken a look at how we can develop within the UI. Then from the command line, let's talk about tool agnostic fragment development. Since fragments are so lightweight, developers can use any tools they want to create collections of fragments and import them into their library project. Any text editor or tool will work to create page fragments so long as it follows this structure. Collection name, collection.json, fragment name one, fragment name two, etc. We have an example here. We have that fragment.json, source, index.html, index.js, index.css. And we can see that over here on the right demonstrated in our graphic. So really simple, just a few rules that we need to adhere to to get our code into the platform. Let's talk about editable elements. Page fragments can be customized so that they can be edited in line. So if I'm a designer and I don't really want to step into the code, developers can make it so that I can alter different things within the fragment right after I drag it in. It could be changing text, button elements, etc. When we're coding this, we use the data LFR editable attribute to make the elements editable. So as you can see, we have a text, images, links, and HTML code that will allow the alteration of the element. Nice and short, really simple to use. So each editable element must have a unique ID attribute. We also have configurable fragments. So page fragments can be given multiple configuration options for content creators to choose between. The configuration is defined in the configuration.json of the fragment collection. Configuration values selected by the user with the UI are made available to the HTML through the free marker context and can be referenced with the HTML using configuration.fieldName. As you can see down here at the bottom, we have some code that allows us to edit the card title. We can see that we have configuration.text applied style. As you can see down here in the bottom, this is the code that would allow us to edit the card title. And there we can see that configuration.text applied style. All right, time for a knowledge check. The page fragments editor is built into the Liferay DXP UI. You don't need to go anywhere else for that. The fragments generator can be used to create collections and fragments. Developers can use any tools to create page fragments so long as it follows the appropriate structure. The three primary files that must be included with your fragment source folder are the index.html, index.css, and index.js.